Peace to you, my family in Christ, and welcome to another devotion, another time of praise, a proclamation of worship unto God, for he is good and his mercies endure it forever. It is Wednesday, middle of the week, hum day, and they be celebrate intercessors, prayer warriors, those who pray for us night and day, day and night. Would we also say to those of us who are believers, who have not yet committed to praying, who have not yet committed to praying on time and praying in the Holy Ghost to upgrade, to step it up, start today, start giving God an opportunity, a time of your day, start giving him what he deserves, worship and praise and adoration. Let's begin. Let's become prayer warriors. Let's become intercessors. Why? Because prayer still works. Prayer is a work of Holy Spirit. Prayer is indeed what God has called us to. We are called to pray lest we faint. And too many of us are fainting. Too many of us are unconscious spiritually. And the only way we can be resuscitated if we call on the name of the Lord, if we give him back his word in prayer, if you allow him to minister to us. And I ask you today, what comes out of you as an intercessor? When you're working, when you are in company, when you are on social media, what comes out of you? Is it the spirit of excellence? Or is it the spirit of the world, the things of the world? What comes out of you? When you may not be praying, what comes out of you? When you may not be in service, as it were, what comes out of you. And I declare today that the spirit of excellence engulf you, but you need the spirit of God in you first. And that's our prayer today as intercessors, that Holy Spirit will fall fresh. He is falling now. This is the last days and the word declares he will pour out his spirit on all flesh, that we will be in position to receive the outpouring of Holy Spirit so that out of us, will flow Christ, the King of glory, the Lord who is strong and mighty, the Lord who is mighty in battle. Let's take a page from Daniel today, chapter 6, verse 3, and it reads, Then this Daniel became distinguished above all the other high officials, the satraps, because an excellent spirit was in him. And the king planned to set him over the whole kingdom. I like the King James Version that says, Then this Daniel was preferred above the presidents and the princes because an excellent spirit was in him. And the king thought to set him over all the whole realm. The word of God to the people of God. The only way Daniel could have experienced this is because he allowed the word of God to live through him. He allowed the presence of God to be in him and he exalted God. He might have been in trap. Yes, he was in bondage as it were. He was being controlled not by his people, but by the enemy from without, but the God was in him. Elohim was in him. God Jehovah was in him, controlling his mood. And as a result, even in captivity, God was in him. So young people, old people, middle-aged people, all people, no matter your circumstance, your situation, no matter what they say about you, what they're saying to you. No, if God be for you, who can be against you? So let his spirit reign so that excellence will ride you at your job, in the spot and arena, in the service of the king. Excellence will be the order of the day. So intercessors, let's pray for that today, that the people of God will indeed allow the spirit of God to rule and to reign. It's tough. It's difficult, but great is he that is in us and he that is in the world. And if God be for us, who can be 
against us. Read about Daniel. Read about his friend. And allow Holy Spirit to lead you even today. Whom to lead is life eternal. Father, thank you for intercessors today. Thank you for prayer warriors. Thank you for believers who are stepping up today. Who are graduating too. Who are being promoted too. A spirit of excellence. Prayer warriors. Intercessors. And we give you praise. We give you honor. That your presence will cover us. Will hover over us. And will cause us to be a blessing. We well, thank you, God, that this day, this day that you've called us, a day we've never seen and we will not see again, help us to indeed exalt you, honor you, seek you, pray to you, declare, decree, and allow your word to govern us. Help us today in all of our ways to acknowledge you, oh God, and you will direct our path. Let us take your word, read it, pray it, read it, act it, read it, live it. And allow you, God, to manifest in us. At the end of the day, you will be praised, you will be exalted, and you will find faith in the earth through us, your sons and daughters. Bless our going, our coming, our down sitting, our uprising. Every family, oh God, we commit to you today. And we pray for those who lead the nations, God, including our prime minister and all of parliament and their families. We commit them to you. We cover them now. And we pray the blessings of God. Those who lead in other areas, God, particularly the body of Christ, bless us now as we look to you, as we call on you, as we depend on you today. We pray the peace to Jerusalem. We pray peace in our families and our homes. We commend to you and we seek peace for our nation. Let your name be exalted. This we ask in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. God bless you today. Let's go forth. Prayer warriors, intercessors, let's continue to pray. Stay on the wall. And you believers who have not yet become prayer warriors, our prayer today is that you will upgrade and allow God to lead you today. Have a great day in the Lord. Amen.